Okay, done. And what's up, peeps? Welcome back to my channel, JR here. As you guys can see, I have here with me Toyota Yaris new 2021 facelift model. And this is the G Spec. This is the G Spec. Can you guys see? No, well, I'm just kidding. This is actually the mid spec, the E spec. Now, can you guys see? The difference is not that significant. That's why I'm going to tell you guys in this video why you guys should actually consider the E spec if you guys are in the market to look for Toyota Yaris new facelift 2021. And let's go! What the hell am I doing? Okay now, a little tour of the car. Can you guys see, for those that are not well informed, can you guys actually tell whether it's this, the G-Spec or the E-Spec? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It looks virtually the same. Now, you get the spoilers, you get the rear bumpers, you get the same pair of spot rims. And of course, you guys can tell from the back, this is the E-Spec. But other than that, other than that, what is the difference? You tell me, everything is the same except for, except for chrome door handles. Wow. That is the one telltale that this is the E spec, not the higher spec. That's it. That's it from the outside. Okay, okay. Now, from what I know, right, the G spec has front parking sensors, which I'm not too sure where they put. Probably somewhere there. Lah. Okay, somewhere, which there's a little dot usually is the front parking sensors. Other than that, exterior wise, virtually the same. You cannot tell the difference. Mm -hmm. So, is your money well spent on the exterior of the car? Comparatively, the E-Spec and the G-Spec? No, right? No, right? Okay, now let's go in. Okay, now the inside, the instant telltale. Okay, the steering is singing uh, because just now I got to get to the The instant telltale that this is not the highest spec is the number one staring this is the urethane they call it urethane plastic which to me like actually it is actually quite soft and it is actually not too bad lah, okay now i'm going to tell you guys the difference right this one is the e-spec one urethane plastic is actually thinner now okay this is how thin it is and this is comparatively to the g-spec how much thicker when it is wrapped in leather would that affect a driving and would you like to grab a thicker steering wheel that is up to you okay now next is this part here this part here for the g spec higher spec is all digital now why i tell you that is not actually good whereas this one is actually better because as you guys can see right this is the g spec one and it is very much a lot of glossy surfaces and a lot of the glossy surfaces means it is easily scratched okay compared to this the e spec one you can see the glossy okay this is obviously also glossy surface most of it right but the glossy surface is not that easily reachable you get what i mean it's like the most of your time your thumbs or your fingers would touch this this and this not this part here right whereas for the g spec there is a lot of place that you would subconsciously probably will touch on the piano black glossy surfaces next thing is for the g spec this part here leather wrap gear knob now this is how thick for the G-Spec one and this is how thick for the E-Spec one hmm so would you like to grab a thicker piece of gear knob up to you you guys pay more for that and next thing is the chrome plated door handle for the G-Spec would it make a significant difference to the overall car look okay if I understand uh, it probably this part is you know soft touch leather ke. this part is a different color for the G-Spec it is actually not just that one is chrome plated otherwise it's the same okay another significant difference is this rear view mirror so the e-spec as you can see here is the basic rear view mirror no extra features for the g-spec one you have that additional button which is electronically controlled which supposedly help you to reflect lesser light of those people that high beam you at the back so you're supposed to reflect less and it's supposed to hurt less for your eyes but having driven both this one and the G-Spec one which had have that nicer review mirror right I tell you honestly it is not much of a difference people that want a high beam at the back you will get a high beam it will hurt your eyes regardless now in the E-Spec this one is empty pieces of plastic 
Why? Because this e-spec only has four speakers. Two in front and two at the back. Now, in the G-Spec, these two will be filled with, I guess, two more tweeters. So it has six speakers. Now, let's hear the difference. Okay, okay, you guys can hear that, right? I need to stop it faster because, you know, copyright issues and all that. So, the number one, number one, to me, uh, personally, uh, if I'm getting the G-Spec, uh, I'm getting for the speakers. As you guys can hear the difference already, the G-Spec with the six speakers, the clarity difference, the loudness difference, the bass, everything, the G-Spec just sounds significantly better. Or, probably, you guys, Rajin, you guys can fill up those two holes with good speakers and all that lah but as a whole lah let me tell you this ah you are getting this 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 front parking sensors this electronic thingy what else nothing that's pretty much it because the rest is the same you you have the same fabric seats you know unlike you know the Vios if you get the lower spec or higher spec there is a difference in leather seats the back no need to say lah it's the same lah or oh, that one is you know dolphin hello other than that other than that let me tell you it is virtually the same so you tell me the price difference of 4000 plus i mean as of the price list right now right it is 4000 plus between the e and the g is it worth it i mean as you guys already saw the video right is it worth it to me lah to me lah except for the speakers and the probably the useful front parking sensors probably for those people that probably need the front parking sensors otherwise it is not worth it i would say i would say uh, 4000 plus uh, if you wrap your own leather staring uh maybe maybe aftermarket at the front parking sensors and maybe you chrome this chrome that a bit i i would say uh, it is not even 4000 plus probably maybe i don't know I just simply blast us at you. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys are informed in your purchasing decision if you guys are in the market to look for the Yaris 2021 and considering between the G and the E, is it worth it? Hmm? You know, uh, if they give like, I don't know, different engine ke, probably leather seats ke, you know, then probably can justify the price a little bit. Otherwise, otherwise, it is virtually the same car. I... I just cannot. I don't know why would you get the high spec. <laughs> and thanks you guys so much for watching. If you guys have a content, do give me a. I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao. Okay, okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna walk all over here. Testing, testing. This is without the mask, and it is quite a distance. Oh, I'm so hot. I'm going behind the car. I'm going behind. Please hear me clearly, can you guys hear me clearly?